stand in front of it for a tiny bit longer. Thank you! Guys! Shit. Okay, okay, just, okay. Just I caught it. Yes. See how frozen I was? Something just came out of your back, dude. My name is Samantha Sazorka. I'm the assistant curator at the Wilbur D. May Museum, and I've been here for about nine years. The Wilbur D. May Museum houses the private collection of Wilbur May. Wilbur was an eccentric world traveler. He was traveling all over the world starting in the 1920s and 30s and 40s. And he made about 40 trips around the world during his lifetime. And on these journeys, he would collect artifacts. And so everything that he collected is here in the museum. It really represents his love of adventure and his lifetime of travel. Now this guy is pretty much the real life Indiana Jones. From hunting to exploring all around the world, collecting ancient artifacts. This man has been to every continent in the world, many countries, but his all time favorite was Africa. made more trips to Africa than any other place in the world. It was his favorite continent to explore. Now his very first trip to Africa, he ended up spending a whole year there. There was something about Africa that he just could not get enough of. We have a really amazing collection of artifacts from countries all over Africa, starting in the 1920s all the way through the 1960s, which is really amazing. He had claimed many trophies there. Hunting in Africa wasn't the only thing that he was there for. He would also spend a lot of time hanging out in the villages, learning their culture. And to him, this was like a second home. Europe had taken such a huge part in his life as well. Traveling around the world was what you did if you were a person of leisure. Wilbur came from a wealthy family, he had the means to be able to travel and collect, and that's what he did. From Germany to the United Kingdom, to Spain, to France, you name it, anywhere in Europe, he had spent a little bit of his life at. He would even reach out as far as the Amazon, China, and the newly born Soviet Union. You could not keep this man in one spot. This guy was all for the adventure. And when I say he is like the real Indiana Jones, well, he was. One of the things that really caught my eye in Wilbur's museum is his small display case of Egyptian artifacts. The man was even able to get his hands on Ushakti. Now an Ushakti is a small miniature detailed version of a sarcophagus, which is an ancient Egyptian casket made out of stone. I think some of the standout collections are the Egyptian artifacts. It's not a huge collection, but they're some of the oldest items in the whole building, 6th century BC, which is incredible. Some of them are tomb items, so they literally came from tombs in Egypt. 
Now, Wilbur's life wasn't just defined by his travels. Throughout the years, he would become an avid pilot, a renowned chef, he would serve in both world wars, he would eventually raise racehorses, and had several other business ventures. Yeah, he did it all, and accomplished many of these things before he was even 35. Now, during the time of his obsession with flying, Wilbur would own four airplanes. One of those airplanes was the exact same model that Charles Lindbergh would use to complete the first transatlantic flight. Wilbur was even friends with the Wright brothers. They're the two that invented the world's first successful airplane. Now the employees at the Wilbur D. May Museum have been experiencing strange things, weird paranormal events, for almost a decade. So much so that they created their own logbook called The Ghost Record, where each and every employee will write down whatever they've experienced either that day or that night that they were working. Over the years, our staff have been writing down anything that's happened to them in the building that was unusual or hard to explain. A couple of those experiences that they've written in that book include feelings of being watched or followed, strange voices, weeping, laughing, crying, whispers in the hallway, footsteps, objects being moved when they're in locked glass alarm cases, even handprints on those very same cases that were just wiped down and cleaned. In that ghost record, when employees are saying that they had seen an object that had been moved, we are talking about these two specific dolls. Employees are saying that these two dolls do not like being next to each other. So much so that the doll on the left will always shift its body to look away from the other doll right next to it. The employees will then have to go back into the case and readjust that doll to lay facing back upward. Now in my thoughts, since there are so many ancient relics sitting in this museum, I really feel like there's definitely a couple of spirits attached to at least a good handful of these objects. That and the employees are saying that Wilbur is still somewhere around the museum within his collection. Okay, Wilbur May, I'd like to introduce all four of us. You had already seen us. My name is Ryan. The guy in front of me, his name is River. The guy to the left of me, his name is Wyatt. And the guy furthest away from me, his name is Skylar. Wilbur, if you are here, we are here to try and get in contact with you and see if you'd like to say anything to us. Maybe a little bit of information about yourself and why you are still here. I just wanted to say all of us love your collection, everything that you've accumulated throughout your life. It is a beautiful collection. It is a beautiful collection. And anybody else who is here as well, who may be attached to any of these objects here, feel free to say hello as well. We are here to speak to anyone who would love to speak to us. We are giving you that opportunity. We are giving you that opportunity. Did you hear that loud thump? We're giving you an opportunity to speak to somebody. No, did you hear that? No. No. It was over there in that corner. You over there in that corner? Here's a new device that we had picked up. This is a music motion sensor. So what we're going to do here is you turn it on and there's a motion sensor right here. So what happens if it's just like the yes, no pyramid. If somebody walks on this side, it starts to go off. Wilbur or anybody here, this object that I'm holding in my hand is a motion object. It'll show us that you are here. If you walk in front of it, 
You can show us that you are here. I'm setting it right here where these two dolls are. If you walk on this side here, it'll show us that you are here. So I'll demonstrate it for you, and it'll show us that you are here. All you have to do is walk by here, just like that, and we'll leave you be. It is neat. If you can please show us that you are here, using your energy, manifest everything you have. You can use our energy as well, the energy coming out of these objects that you see. You know what cameras are. You've seen plenty of them. We give you permission to use your energy out of these cameras. Use the batteries. I'm going to set this right here. This is a yes-no object. All you do is you walk up to each side. This side is red, usually for a no when we ask a question. And this side is green for a yes. If you'd like to show us that you are here and maybe ask you a couple of questions so that you could say yes or no to them, all you have to do is show us that you are on one of those sides and we'll come right to you and ask a couple of questions for you to hopefully answer. Please give us a sign. Maybe make a, a noise somewhere where you are. I just heard a knock on a glass. On some glass. If anybody's here, this device in my hand. If you understand us, you can speak into this device and tell us a little bit about yourself. You may not have every word that you want to use, but it has enough. Okay, Wilbur, there's also a flashlight right there. You can walk up to that, twist the flashlight. You can turn it on. That'll show us that you're there as well. And here's another one I'm going to set over here. You walk up to that one. And you can turn that one on, or you can turn this one on, show us that you're here. Here's two objects here that you can walk up to as well. And that'll show us that you are holding on to these. You have all kinds of different options here that you can show us that you are indeed here with us. We're going to go up towards those rooms. Okay, try that. Please use your energy. We'd love to get to know any of you here. Quiet. No, it is. That just went off, actually. Are you here? Wilbur? We can sit right here. And we're sitting here. And you can walk right in front of us and show us that you are here. You can use my energy, but please walk right in front of us. Any of you, not just Wilbur. Sorry, I don't know anybody else's names. If you'd like, you can give us your name, but show us that you are here first, and so we know that you are here. Late. It is very late. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh, guys, it's working. Thank you. In the beginning, we weren't getting too much activity until Skylar and Wyatt had decided to walk away from us and go to the other side of the museum. And then things just started to get a little bit more active. Look, I'm forward, nothing. Thank you so much. Wow. Can you do that again? Please, can you do that again for us? Yes. Thank you. Can you maybe stand in front of it for a tiny bit longer? If you can, use, use your energy. Manifest everything you have. Thank you! Guys! You working? <laughs> it's still going! Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Oh my god. Thank you. So if there's anybody in this room with us, we have two devices here. We have both an EMF meter. You can grab onto that and it'll let us know that you're here with us. And if you want to speak with us, here in my hand is a device where you can say what you want. I can move the flashlight. All you have to do is twist, twist the object. I think that might have been me. We'd like to talk to you. Or at least know you're here with us. <laughs> Shit. That okay, just, did okay. you just get I that? It. Yes. I almost tripped over Thank the couch, you. dude. I legit almost just tripped over the couch. Do not go beyond this point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of here. Please turn that off. Thank you. Can you can you keep it off? Turn it off one more time, please. If you really are here, you can manifest enough energy to turn that flashlight off. Please turn that flashlight off. We mean you no harm, you don't have to be afraid. If you need to, you can use all of these things that we have and use their electricity. Whoever was holding onto it did do it. Would you like us to walk away? Did you hear that noise? Mm -hmm. I can walk away. Can the battery drop two bars? I'm not getting it. The cool thing is, we can still see the light through the. You saw it? You just see it blink? I don't know. It's dimming. Do not go beyond this point. Wait, that's motion activated. That is motion activated. What the f Okay, we're gonna walk away. We're gonna come back. Hopefully you had turned it off. Use your energy to turn that off. Is that you? Okay, um, we're gonna go up into the rooms, go check some things out. Um, I'm gonna bring a REM pod. Okay, okay. It definitely was not you. Dude, what the f yeah. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Yes! Did the flashlight turn on? It's off, it's off. Look, 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 look. Did you see it? In the Bro, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh my god, I just, I saw it with my own eyes, dude. I saw it. Because you can see that whole section just whew, shut off. And then as soon as we came back, it turned it on. I think I, I'm sorry if I scared you. I apologize. I was just really excited. I think they were like holding on to it. And then they turned it off, and I think they just ran away. I apologize for that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it turned on. Face it, this... There it goes. There it goes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, can you turn it back on for us? This is amazing. You are doing such a good job. You're doing great. Use your energy. Give us a sign that you are here. Okay, we're going to walk away. Feel free to hold on to that and turn it back on. Thank you so much for turning it off for us. That was awesome. Okay, Ghost Gang, so we decided to gather back up together. So far, we have gotten a little bit of evidence that somebody is here. We came up with an idea to go ahead and sit all four in a circle on the floor, see if we could put one of our devices in the middle of us, see if we can give it to whoever is here to maybe show us that they are with us. So we could do that and and continue through the night. We could do that and and continue through the night. What, what was that? that? Dude, what yeah, did you hear that? That was a dude. There's somebody talking to sure. like shit. You just make a knock? I can't use my accent when I was in there. Can you do that again? OK, 
Okay, guys, let's go. Make that noise again. Please. I just heard something again. That was like a groan. That voice sounded almost like... Uh, it was singing, I guess. Like a... What? Jesus. Dude, I just followed an orb. Oh, right shit. And that just went off. That's what I was going to say was creepy. I just followed an orb straight at me. I heard a click behind me and that goes off. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. Thank you so much. I... You got that light? Can you turn that flashlight on for us right there? Twist it. There's an object at the corner of the table over there. You just hold on to it. You use your energy, twist it. Please show us that you are here. Oh, by the way, we were walking and this happened twice. A sound of a, or a, yeah, that, oh. As soon as you started knocking, there's like a, did you see your footsteps? Who's walking over there? <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> this looks cool, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I, guys, I'm getting bad chills. I think all it took was all four of us to be together. As long as you record. Do you have anything to do with these two dolls? I doubt that one. Oh, what? I thought that he heard it, I think. If you understand us, can you touch that green light? Did it not just click? It, it, just did. it did. Thank Are you, you filming? They that? can't hear us. I You're filming? They can't. They do know what we're saying. Okay. Hello. Did you just hear that voice? I don't know if it was a voice or like a scratching sound. So you understand us. Can you step in front of that again? The music? You make the music go off again, please? Oh my god. Thank gosh. you so much. Thank you. Thank Whoa, you. did you guys hear that? Did you not just hear that really long moan? No. I heard it. I am so chilled up, looks good. Yeah, I am too. Not really though. I can't see it. It is really cold here. Are you not able to do that flashlight on the corner? You stand in front of this object here, the music, but can you please hold on to that? Hold on to this object right there to the to the left. I don't know if you're looking at it. This is a bunch of Uh, my camera just straight up died. Uh oh. oh shit. Yeah. I hope you didn't lose your footage. That's fing down. Oh no. All of the sudden, Wyatt's camera had shut off with 50% left in his batteries. This was right then giving us the idea that a spirit had definitely drained everything out of that camera. Once we had tried to check the footage that Wyatt had already filmed, we had noticed that everything was corrupted. Fortunately, I was able to recover as much as footage as I could, and you can notice during the film in specific key moments, it almost looks as if a spirit is using everything out of that camera to try and show us that they are there. This 
was distorting a bunch of footage out of this clip. Typically, this never really happens with our cameras, considering that they are fairly new. So we just lost a bunch of Wyatt's footage. Not sure how that happened, but we just lost a huge chunk. It's unfortunate, but sometimes, I guess this happens, maybe his spirit was using all of Wyatt's energy and just total, totally shut down his, com his camera to where now that file that he just recorded is corrupted. 10, 15 minutes. There's no blame to any of you who are here if you were the ones who used your energy or who sucked the energy out of Wyatt's camera. We gave you that permission. Are you still here with us? Oh, did you just see that? I did. The flashlight just turned on. That, that, that camera saw. Oh, yeah. Do you think it did? I don't think it did. My home. Your home. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you definitely would have seen it light up the wall over there. Mm -hmm. Wilbur, is this you that we're talking to? It's on Go again. around. It's Go on around. Again. It's off? No, it's on. Oh. It just flickered. Are you more interested in this flashlight now? We don't turn it off, no. Thank you. It just lit up hella. I can see the wall. Can you use your energy and turn that off, please? Maybe walk over to this side and stand in front of this music box again? Wilbur, has it been you that we've been talking to this whole time? Tyler? Yeah. Holy shit. Something just pulled on my shirt. I was over here. I didn't do anything to you. Indeed? Indeed. Something just pulled on my shirt. I totally thought it was Skylar behind me. That was really weird. Who just pulled on, on River's shirt? Somebody just pulled on his shirt? That was right there. I want to know where the one, whoever it was, maybe you Wilbur, who had sucked all the energy out of Wyatt's camera to where it had shut off. That's all the way over there. Was that over there? Yeah, it was over there. It came all the way over there. another voice. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. You good? Dude, I swear to God, someone blew cigarette smoke in my face. Oh no shit? Mm-hmm. That almost made me gag. Ooh. Oh no shit. That, that made my heart race in my head. Oh my God, smell it right here, right? Does that... Do you smell cigarettes? That doesn't smell like a cigarette. Come here. It smells like a cigar. It's like a tobacco. I, I smell like smoke of some kind. Yeah. All of a sudden, I just started coughing. I couldn't control it. It felt just like someone exhaled a large amount of smoke directly into my lungs. Now to me, it smelled and almost tasted kind of like dirty old pipe tobacco. Now supposedly, unbeknownst to me, the guys had said that in that same case where I was standing, there is an old tobacco pipe. Were you just smoking in here? You just blow smoke at Wyatt? Somebody? Was wood burning? Was it wood burning or were you smoking out of a wooden pipe? Something like that. It does sound like there's like a melody. Do you hear the humming? Just humming. It's a beautiful song. 
Dude, who was right there, bro? What? What was it? That was. I think that was like right here. I think this was like. No. No, it was. It was. It was. I was standing right here. The camera caught me. The camera's. Camera can see me. I was literally standing right here, and I heard like a tap on this. Two. This. Two. Do you want me to put this anywhere? I have no idea. Is it coming from the ceiling? Hang on. That doesn't sound like the ceiling. That doesn't go. That does sound, that sounds like in that general area. Yeah. It's not coming from him. Come on. I swear it sounds like from what you were saying, why the trophy room. Huh. Vortex. What? What? Where are you? I'm sitting down in the chair. No f shit. What? I might have just got that on camera. What? What? You see the blinking of the pyramid? Yeah. I heard two, like, on glass, and I shit you not that the light lifted. I thought Sky was moving it. I thought he was moving devices around. You're kidding. No, I'm not even joking. It straight came up at least a couple inches. Up here. Like, it looked like he took it and just went. You know what I mean? But it didn't go off. No. And I heard the. I don't know how to describe that. Three. Three. Oh my God! Three. <gasps> right as you said three. Did I? Was I right? Did I see that? Dude, that was amazing. Yeah, it was like three. Like shuffling of something. I think he walked away after I turned it off. Yo, no, that did sound like that for sure. Like... What the f***? What? Did you hear the knock on the glass? Dude, it sounds like someone's f***ing walking on the walls. It is so loud. It might be you guys walking around, just the acoustics, but literally, like, every time, it's so heavy. Yeah, well, I don't think we've We're not really walking too much, man. Like, we'll go and stop, and then we, we start to hear the noise. It's tripping me out. That's what I'm saying. We'll go and stop. Skylar's not even moving, either. Is that over there? Yeah, it sounds like it's coming. That's where I was walking. I swear. What the f dude? Whoever is here, we're gonna have to end our night. If you have anything else you'd like to say to us, show us, whatever you'd like to maybe do. Did you just drop something? No. Did you drop something? I no. Did you drop something? Like those right below us. That just sounded like somebody legit dropped something on the ground. Legit, nobody dropped anything? No, there's nothing around us. I just want to say thank you for showing us that you are here and you can understand us, some of you. We just want to say a huge thank you, giving us this opportunity to come in contact with you. Show us that you are standing... Standing here, listening to us. Turn off the flashlight next to it. Please. Ryan. <laughs> I just Something froze. Just came out of you. Something just came out of your back, bro. Dude. Something just you're came not out of your back. 
Did you see how frozen I was? Something just came out of your back, dude. Can you can you look at this? Look at how frozen oh my goodness. I am. Something legit just came out of your back right after you said that. We are not close enough for that to even go off. I just want to say thank you so much. I don't know why you said my name, but thank you. We hear you're knocking. Supposedly something, one of you just came out of me. I, I felt you almost with me, if that makes sense. I felt you holding on to me. I felt your presence. Brittany. Removed? It removed itself from you? Because it went away from you. Mm -hmm. It came out of your back. We are so happy, so happy with the results that we got talking to you. And we're really excited to share the message with the workers here who respect each and every one of you who is here and who loves talking to you, greeting you in the mornings and saying goodbye and good night to you every night. You know that they care about you, huh? There was a knock all the way over there? Yeah. I'm gonna turn the flashlight off. Okay. Let's see if they turn it back on. Okay, Skyler's gonna turn this flashlight off. If you'd like, you can go ahead and turn it on. Please turn that flashlight on. For whoever was in here and speaking to us, we hope you are happy here and peaceful because this place is beautiful and we hope you are at peace. Light, 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 light. See it? Turn it on now, please. If you hear us and you understand us, make that go bright in three, two, one. Oh, they just... That was interesting. Thank you. Okay, Ghost Gang. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to end the night. All the batteries are as dead as they can get. The guys are barely running off of anything. And we have been here for quite a few hours. And also, Samantha, who works here, has been very kind. And she's sat here, waited for us to investigate. So, I think tonight went good. I'm thinking we got in contact with Wilbur some of the times. And I feel like we also did get in contact with a couple of other spirits from a lot of these artifacts here. So, Ghost Gang, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next week. Peace.